Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to design a low pass FIR filter using a Hamming window. Let us see the specifications of the Hamming window. Here, HD of omega is given as 1, where omega ranges from minus pi by 6 to pi by 6, and it is 0 otherwise. Here, capital N, that our number of samples are 10, and we have to obtain impulse response of the desired filter. We now have HD of n by definition of Fourier transform that would be 1 by 2 pi minus omega c 2 omega c HD of omega e raised to j omega n d omega. Now this is a low pass filter. What we can do is HD of omega is equal to e raised to minus j omega alpha. Now we will calculate alpha. Alpha is given by n minus 1 by 2. Now here n is 10. So it will be 10 minus 1 by 2. That would be 9 by 2. That is 4.5. Now alpha is 4.5. And omega is ranging from minus pi by 6 to plus pi by 6. So e raised to minus j omega alpha. That would be hd of n is given by 1 by 2 pi integration minus pi by 6 to plus pi by 6 e raised to minus j omega 4.5 into e raised to j omega n. Now we will take the exponential terms common. We get 1 by 2 pi integration minus pi by 6 to plus pi by 6 e raised to j omega n minus 4.5 d omega. So we will integrate this term. After integrating we get hd of n is equal to 1 by 2 pi j into n minus 4.5 e raised to j omega n minus 4.5 where the limits ranging from minus pi by 6 to plus pi by 6. After substituting the limits and we know that it would be the form of e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta upon 2j. So hd of n is equal to 1 upon pi into n minus 4.5 e raised to j pi by 6 n minus 4.5 minus e raised to minus j pi by 6 n minus 4.5 again the whole divided by 2j now finally we get the answer as 1 by pi n minus 4.5 sine of pi by 6 n minus 4.5 now we have to calculate h of n h of n is given by hd of n into w of n. We are using Hamming window function. Hamming window function is given as w of n 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 cos of 2 pi n upon capital N minus 1. That is 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 cos of 2 pi n divided by 9. Here the range of n is 0 to 9. Now we have to calculate this for different values of n. But here as we can see that these terms wn of n and this term are very large. We will calculate individually and then of course multiply at the end. So we will form one table. This is another method to solve this kind of problems. We can form one table where we can calculate first hd of n then wn of n and both we will multiply this and obtain h of n. So this is one kind of tabula method where it becomes simple. So for different values of n which are given here we can calculate hd of n, wn of n and finally h of n. So for the first value that is n is equal to 0, hd of n is equal to 0 0.05 and w of n is equal to 0 0.08. When both are multiplied we get 4 into 10 raised to minus 3. Again for n is equal to 1 0 0.0878 and here 0 0.1876 and when both are multiplied we again get 0 0.0164. HD of n when n is equal to 2 gives 0 0.1229 and 0 0.46 when multiplied it comes out to be 0 0.0 565. When n is equal to 3, hd of n is 0 0.15 and wn of n is 0 0.77. So multiplied we get 0 0.1155. When n is equal to 4, hd of n is 
0.1647 multiplied by 0.972 equal to 0.16. Now we'll find out the other values and multiply them. We can also use here the symmetry property because it is valid here also. So we can write these five values in reverse order. That would be 0 0.1647, 0 0.15, 0 0.1229, 0 0.0878 and 0 0.05 similarly here it would be 0 0.972 0 0.77 0 0.46 0 0.1876 and 0 0.08 and similarly the results are also same that is 0 0.16 0 0.1155 0 0.0565 0 0.0164 and finally the last value that is 4 into 10 raised to minus 3. This is the impulse response required. Thank you.